Om Shanti. Today is your 61st day of your beautiful Vardhan. A Vardhan in which God the Father reminds us and compares the worldly crown which the kings and the queens have with the crown which he bestows upon his children and the bestower of destiny gives the crown of purity to all his children. Now that's the biggest attainment. If you recall the attainments of all the saints in this world, all the great gurus, all the different religious preceptors, they are the ones who were shown with the crown of light behind them. Now, even if you see the deities of the deity dynasty, which now by mistake has been called as the Hindu dynasty or the Hindu religion, it actually is the deity dynasty, also shows the white crown. So what exactly is this crown all about? We're going to discuss this and not just that, how God bestows that upon us and what are the conditions of having that white crown forever as an attainment from God. So let's go ahead, let's find out. So Baba says today, may you become an embodiment of all attainments and receive a crown of light as your godly fortune. Now that's what God gives us. It's not about attaining wealth financial wealth some people think that while we try to go towards god all the financial attainment should be ours but god says my biggest attainment to you is for you to be happy content in whatsoever situation whatsoever condition you are in so you become the richest being in the whole world not even the biggest of the biggest people in the Forbes magazine can be compared to you because I give you that contentment, that power of wisdom, that power of attainment of peace and love and harmony which not even the richest people in this world have. So, what is it that people are looking for even after having the riches in the world? Baba says that I give you the power of purity and understanding which is a permanent crown a crown not even the richest people in the world can ever attain. So, and that crown cannot be even bought by money. So what is the power of this crown? Let's go ahead and understand that. In the world, the sign of fortune is a kingdom. That's what we believe. Oh, he's the king, he's the queen. And what is the sign? Sign is a crown. So a king and a queen will have a crown on their head, right? That's what we believe that that's a sign of fortune. In the same way, the sign of having godly fortune is a crown of light. Now what is this light? You've seen the light behind all the saints, right? Which we just discussed. That's the light of purity. It's the light that the soul is very light in their mind because of pure thoughts. They're very light. They don't have sleepless nights. They don't have depression like the people today have. They don't have worries or tension. So their mind is light because of purity. Also their body is light like a feather, like an angel. So Baba says in the same way, the sign of having godly fortune is a crown of light. The basis of receiving this crown, what is the basis now? Let's explore that, is purity. Now purity means not just celibacy, not just brahmacharya. It means to be in the footsteps of the guidance of what God has told us. God says, I am the ocean of purity and I expect all my children to become pure again in this last birth before the end of Kali Yuga. See, all throughout our life, we have been in relationships. We have had many parents in our life if you believe in rebirth. So the cycle of 84 births is coming to an end. And Baba says, at least for this last birth, become pure just one birth so that I can give you the fortune I can give you the inheritance of the golden age so there's a condition for that only the Puritans not just the ones who are celibate but also the ones who don't have any impurity towards anybody a celibate being who hasn't married for a long time 
or hasn't ever married for a couple of births not just this birth has always been a celibate from right from childhood might have bias ideas or thoughts towards other religions other people other castes or the creed but baba says those souls who attain the power and the knowledge of purity through me who remain not just celibate but also follow my guidance are the ones who attain this crown of purity so baba says completely pure souls as well as having a crown of light are full of all attainments so completely pure means no thought from morning till evening should be towards any soul in an any impure way if you have any judgmental thought also towards somebody if you look down upon somebody if you disdain somebody that's also impurity so just like we see the crown like shape of the moon which becomes complete moon and then half moon and then slowly slowly the degrees of the moon becomes less and there's a small line like a crescent only remaining at the end so baba says you souls have become like that a small crescent that's it now i have come down on earth to make you pure to make you pure means the complete light has to be shining again for that to happen not just celibacy the whole world has got many many souls who are following celibacy but that's not enough baba says celibacy is okay but a soul who has got complete equal vision towards any gender any caste any creed and who understands the whole world drama the way i've created by taking that knowledge is purifying the self is able to have the power to tolerate people accept people the way they are is becoming pure slowly so the light also increases so then baba says if any attainment is missing what attainment an attainment of lack of love lack of peace lack of happiness lack of bliss lack of power if any of these things attainments are less then you are not pure just because you are celibate doesn't mean that you are pure so even in brahma kumari just because you are celibate doesn't mean that you have become pure so there's much more than that if any attainment is missing the crown of light will not then be clearly visible so you won't be light in your mind even if you are celibate you have to be lighter in the mind at the same time you have to have pure thoughts purity in your mind towards everybody that's what we learn in brahma kumaris that's what we learn in the course and that's how we learn how to do meditation without purity there is no meditation with this i leave you om shanti Thank you.